who are you trashing? This goes back to my block party. I have had it with old people and freaking coffee at their damn parties. Oh, boy. All right? I, I don't know what it is about certain family members over the age of 75 years old. Mm. I get it. You're not going to partake in either the alcohol or, heaven forbid, an iced tea at a party like or this. Or the ice luge. Or the ice luge. Everybody's partying, having a good time. Music's blasting. You know, adult beverages to be had. The grill's going barbecue. And around 5 o'clock as dinner's out, I get tapped on my shoulder and asked to make a coffee. Make a coffee. I'm just going to say Danielle's grandmother wanted me to make her a freaking coffee at 5 o'clock. So, okay, I have to stop having my good time, pause the wiffle ball game to fire up that Keurig machine and make her a cup of coffee. In the middle of your wiffle ball machine? I was not happy. Grandma yeah. wants the coffee? Wants the coffee. And I'm looking around like, and I understand when people want their coffee with their cake and stuff like that. When dessert will come out and I get it. So I make her a coffee. But why can't somebody else make coffee? Well, because I guess because it's my house, I have to go in and fire up the Keurig. I didn't make, you know, it was like I had a big pot of coffee ready to go. It's five o'clock. But she didn't know how to make Keurig? She, well, that's what I felt like telling her. How about you go in and do it? But I know she's going to give me an attitude back. So I go in and I make the cup of coffee. Okay. I give it to her. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Two hours roll around. Dessert comes back out. My grandfather taps me. Uh, can I get a cup of coffee? Because nobody went and made the coffee. My parents didn't because at this point, everybody's drinking and having a good time. And these four old people, the only people not having the good time, so they have right. to have their damn coffee. They need the coffee. So I go in. I make Grandpa a cup of coffee. He was sitting right next to Danielle's grandmother. After I make him the cup of coffee, she has the nerve to turn to me and go, you know what? I'll take another cup. And now I'm doing like a coffee runaround. Wow. I looked at her dead in her eyes and I said, you know what? No. You had your cup of coffee tonight. You told her no? I go, you had your cup of coffee tonight. She goes, that was two hours ago. I want another cup. I go, then why'd you ask for a cup at five o'clock if you knew you were going to want a cup at dessert? <laughs> and now I'm getting angry. We're screaming back and forth at each other at the front lawn. So now I go back. I have my aunt help me make two cups of coffee because she's got her friend there. They're, they're getting a the coffee, the whole deal. I give them back to them. I don't even get a thank you for it. I, and then they're like, oh, only got, gave me was a half a cup of coffee. You get what you get. And here's my big issue here. If you're not going to drink at a party, I get it. Everybody needs to designate a driver. There's plenty of people drinking waters and all that. And the coffee's your thing. How about, you know, when you bring go to a party and you show up and you get your 12-pack of Red Apple Ale, your 12-pack of Bud's Light, ah, I'm contributing to the party. If you know all you're going to do is sit there for four hours and constantly want cups of coffee, how about you get up to freaking Dunkin' Donuts and bring a box of Joe just like anybody would bring beer. I've had it. You old people and your coffee, enough. It's 2017. Have a beer, have a soda, and sit down and shut up. You've been trashed. I like your point about bringing the coffee. I mean, if, if you're all you're going to do is suck down coffee, you should bring your right. own coffee. And again, I get it. Coffee should be served with dessert. But when you ask me for the cup at five, don't again expect the cup at seven. I'm not your waiter. I'm not a butler. I'm throwing a party here. You're not sitting down at Chili's. Well, I guess when you throw the party, you're seen as the host. Yeah, okay, but there's a bunch of other people there. But again, get a feel. Look around and say, ah, oh, he's busy doing this right now. He's doing that. I mean, you're she would drag me away from things for coffee. You know how to hit a button on a Keurig machine. Go out and figure it out with the cake up. <laughs> well, that's the interesting thing. You're in the middle of a wiffle ball game in the middle of the street. I can't believe she thinks this is the appropriate time to ask you to make a cup of coffee. The, no, the appropriate time for the coffee would have been when my grandfather originally asked, when dessert came out, you want a little coffee with your cookies. Absolutely. But then once he asks... You gotta ask with if you want a second cup, which I wasn't happy about. How about ask when he's asking? That's right. Sitting right next to him. Don't wait for me to bring the cup back and then ask for your second cup. It's nonsensical. It's idiotic, and I can't take it. No more old people at parties before they want his coffee. Taking out the trash.